Hi everybody, it's JP. Uh, this video is in direct response to the donations. Thank you. Well, I hope everybody had a, a nice Christmas. Uh, today's the 26th, so uh, I was headed out last night. I waited too long to go. It got dark and cold, so I made it over to the Walmart anyway. They were closed, so I figured I'd just spend the night because I wanted to uh, get some things before I go. Not really sure where I'm going just yet. Um, I'm headed east, <laughs> put it that way. Um, probably go for, I don't know, maybe over to Safford or something. There's uh, some pretty nice BLM land over there. It's free. And uh, so I think that's what I'll probably do. Either that or I'll end up at the lake. But uh, I'll have to get Lily out and uh, put her in the camper and let her get used to it here. I'll be using this all, all winter. Motorhome's pretty much parked for the winter. So, uh, I guess that's it for now. Uh, yeah. When I first came out here, it was, uh, weren't many people out here at all. Now the place is filling up, so I'm gonna have to, uh, Go find someplace else, I guess. It's a little bit rocky uh, where I'm walking, so it's uh, pretty hard to hold this camera still. I need to get another camera, probably a GoPro or something. I think that's the best thing to get for, uh, for what we're doing here. Anyway. I'm uh, out on the lake, out by the lake, which is about the closest and easiest place to go to uh, from where I live. It's been really, really cold. It was below freezing last night, so that old heater worked pretty hard. <laughs> so I would kind of get a little view of, of the lake out here. That's Roosevelt Lake, in case you're wondering. Just kind of a pan around a little bit. Look at all the people everywhere. I was all by myself, like I said last night, and uh, all these people came in. Sometime around between 8 and 9 o'clock, so a little busy. It's hard to sleep. Wanted to get up early, so I went to bed early last night. Uh, I wanted to catch the sunset over the top of those mountains over there. And, uh, well, I just wasn't able to do that. <laughs> I was sleeping so well that... Uh, well, anyway, that's the way it is. I slept too good, slept too late. Uh, get some of that stuff way over there, maybe. I'm not so sure you can see all that out there, but uh, we'll do the best that we can with what we have. I like that tree right there. All right, I'm out of here. Too many people. They stare, sit and stare at you. And dogs come over and, you know, want to smell you. And the louder you talk, the louder they talk. So, but they don't want to be on camera. They don't want to be interviewed. Um, that's it. I'm out of here. Now, boondocking, I've said before, boondocking to me is nobody around. That's just the way I like it.
if I can get out of here. Dam. I'm not going to go down there today. Imagine everybody and their brother is down there. Lucky to find a place to park. I'm going to go up here to the recreation area. Uh, there's a whole lot of places to park. But there may be a lot of people too. But, well, it'll be a nice scenery anyway. one lane uh, whoever's coming first can go anybody else has to wait there's the pull-off site right there to wait for animals <laughs> yeah <clears throat> from town it's not that I don't like people uh, mind you but you know when I go out I'm an old boondocker I don't want anybody else around <clears throat> I don't need anybody else around <laughs> I just assume be by myself completely. This road here goes up to Young, and it goes up to the rim from there. I'll have to uh, go out there, go up that way one day. Maybe in the springtime I'll get up there. I don't think I can take the motor home up there. Last time I heard, it was pretty bad. So, uh, I might take the camper. I remember going up that way a long, long time ago. It was really nice. You know, to get into the forest and all that. Go from... Uh, desert like this to forest. Yeah, there's already a couple of people down there, it looks like. I only got a camp post in here now. Well, what do you know about that? Hmm. I'm not sure about that. It says trail to toilet and overlook. <laughs> I'm not going to say it, but I bet you all know what I'm thinking. This is kind of a nice little area right here. A little shady. Got a nice little fire pit. Um, it's for day use only. There's no overnight camping right in here. Up there where I'm parked, or you can camp there for... Not camp, but you can park for 14 days. No fire pits or anything up there. Uh, so, you know, it's just blacktop. Oh, that's nice. You got a camp host sitting up there. Uh, I bet he never even comes out. A bunch of trash and plastic cups and all kinds of stuff laying around down here. Our tax dollars at work. This is turning out to be kind of a rant. I don't mean for it to be, but it is. I guess that kind of wraps it up. Uh, for this one, I'm going to go home and uh, get this put on the big computer so I can edit 
and uh, I never did get a laptop. I kept putting it off, putting it off. Well, I'm gonna have to do something about that, I guess. Have to go home and, and uh, transfer it onto the big computer so I can edit and upload. I got internet out here, but just barely. Pretty slow, and uh, the laptop won't do MP4, so got a rock and a hard spot there, you know. Anyway, uh, it's been a fun couple of days, that's for sure. Weather's been nice, except for last night, it's really cold. And, uh, but the sun's warm, just a slight breeze today, and that's what's really cold. Might be able to hear the river in the background there, but. Uh, I can't get down there. Uh, they need to uh, grade that road, especially where it gets down close to the river. You get a lot of ATVs that go up through there and they tear everything up. It makes it pretty hard for a regular vehicle without four wheel drive to get in there. The last time I was in there, uh, down by the river, you guys might remember that one, uh, we almost didn't make it out. so. Uh, we were spinning tires all the way, and the camper was shaking back and forth. You know, I got really nervous, but but we made it. Uh, it was a uh, a forest ranger sitting up there watching to make sure that if something happened, he he'd be right there to help us out. So anyway, I guess that's it. Um, like I said, we're gonna get home and and uh, get this uploaded, and uh, we'll be out again in a couple three days. Talk to you later.